Hey everyone, this is Rodolfo Silva. And let's talk about masking and adjusting your mask on the fly. So I have this model here and I'm just gonna paint a mask. And now if I go under my tool palette, under masking, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can find mask adjust. Now in the mask adjust, you can blur the mask non-destructively. So if I raise this blur over here and click apply, you can see I'm basically blurring that mask. And now if I push this back down to like five, it's going to go to that value. So I can effectively blur it 100%. It's not incremental, so I'm not applying more blur, let's say on top of the mask. But if I want to reset it, I could set the blur back to a lower value. And one other thing you can do is actually adjust the curve of your mask. So by default, this is set like a straight line. And this is a curve similar to the curve you find on the surface noise. So what I can do is I can come over here and let's change this focal shift. And this focal shift slider is actually just sliding that curve to the left and to the right. Now, if I slide it to the left, and press done and now apply, I'm effectively growing my mask. And if I slide this to the right, I'm going to shrink that mask. So basically the left to right of this curve is going to be the distance on the perimeter of your mask. So the middle point is your current state of the mask. It's basically sharpening that angle. So if I do something like, for example, like this and just make this slight curve and I'll click apply, I'm basically increasing the mask. I'm expanding that mask, but I'm also making sure that the center of that mask is untouched. So it's basically up to you how to tweak this curve, I can just add random points and look at the effect at the end, you can do like this blur, you can see it's getting that sort of like posterization effect. So this is basically because I'm adding so many points and their fall off is very subtle. So the bottom part is zero value. This is one. So this is the blackness of the mask. So it's going brighter and then darkening, brighter, darkening. So let's just apply this and you can see it's kind of like growing, but it's posterizing that mask at the same time. And this might be something you want, for example, to create some weird effect maybe you want to use this for painting maybe you want to go over here to paint and now you can see i get this effect over there that was it for mask adjust so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one